Hello everyone, welcome to the next video on characteristic table equation and excitation table. Previously we have seen SR flip flop and JK flip flop. Now let us get into the characteristic table and equation and excitation table of D flip flop and T flip flop. As we know, D flip flop is a device with input D and clock signal. Here I am considering the positive edge of the clock and this is the simple truth table for D flip flop. For d is equal to 0, q will be 0 and d is equal to 1, q will be 1. And obviously q bar is complementary to q. This is the simple truth table of d flip-flop. And coming to t flip-flop, t flip-flop again will be having an input called t and we are going to see the output at q. When clock is at the positive edge again, when t is equal to 0, this flip-flop is going to hold the value of the output. Means if q is equal to 0 previously, it will be holded as 0 if my input is 0. If q is equal to 1 previously, if the input 0 has given, it will be holded as 1. Means it will hold the same state if the input t given as 0. If the input is given as 1, what happens? The q becomes q bar. Means if 0 is the previous input, it will be changed to 1 if 1 is given from the t and q bar will be changed to q. Means q and q bar are going to be inverted when we are going to give 1 from t input. This is about the truth table of d and t flip flops. Now let us get into the d flip flop and let us write the excitation table and characteristic table. First let us write characteristic table using the truth table. In the characteristic table as we know we need to write all the input combinations. So by considering the current state qn. For d is equal to 0 and current state is 0. Means we will be having an output 0 and we are assuming that we are passing 0 from d. What will be the output? For 0 input from d irrespective of this we are going to get 0 itself. Why? Because d flip flop will pass the same value whatever we are going to get in the input d. Similarly, even if qn is 1 means current state of the output is 1 and we are providing 0 output will be 0 again. The same input whatever we are giving from d will be the output in the next state. Similarly if the current state of output is 0 and we are providing 1 what happens this 1 will be the output to the next stage. Even if 1 is there in the output and we are providing this 1 at the input side we will be getting 1 as output. This is characteristic table. Now we can write the expression for this. Again I am going to go with the k map for simplification. So 0 1 0 1. Here I have 1 1 uh, this to our 0 0. We have 0 0 and here 1 1. So if I group this 1 1. So what I am going to get in qn plus 1 expression? It is d itself. So directly qn plus 1 that is the next state output will be depending on the d input itself irrespective of qn, qn plus 1 will be generated. This is the expression. And coming to the excitation table, how to write the excitation table? We need to take the present state qn is this and if the next state we are supposed to get as this, what should be my d? That is the excitation table. So for 0, 0, we need to look for 0, 0 first. So where we have 0, 0 for qn and qn plus 1, this is 0, 0. In this 0, 0, what is d here? d is 0. So we need to write d as 0. Now let us look at the second case, 0, 1. When qn is 0 and we are expecting qn plus 1 is 1. Here is our 0, 1 state. So for this 0, 1, what should be the input d? We need to pass 1. So d becomes 1. Similarly, if my current input is current output is 1 and next state I am expecting is 0 that is 1 0 for this 1 0 what we need to pass from d that is 0 again. For 1 1 current state is 1 and the next state of output is 1 again. For 1 1 what we need to pass this is 1 1 in qn qn plus 1 I need to take this 1. So this is 1. This is excitation table for d flip flop. We can use this for other applications of d flip flop wherever we are going to use. Let us look into the t flip flop now. In the t flip flop 
for zero input we are going to get hold in q means that is no change or we say the value will be hold it when we are going to give zero as input when we give one as input the output q whatever the state we have will be toggled so let us write the characteristic table for this again i am taking t as zero and the current state of output is zero and t is zero if the current state is one similarly t input one with current state zero and one i am taking all the different cases and q n plus one will be for this zero if current output is zero what happens if the t input is given as zero it should hold its state its state is zero now this zero will be holded so this zero will be holded to the output of the next state when again t input is zero when the current state is one what happens again it will hold so it will hold this one as output to the next state when input is one and the current state output is zero what happens if zero is the current state output but i am giving one as my input it should toggle so this zero is changed to one similarly if the current state is one and i am giving one again as input it will change to zero why because this is these two are hold state that's why it is holding zero and one and these two are toggle state in the toggle state what happens if zero is there in the previous state that will be changed to one similarly if one is there that will be changed to zero and let us write the expression characteristic equation by taking t and q n what happens here zero one and this is one this is zero so here we need to group these two separately if we group this we are going to get q n plus one as for this group for this one group what i am going to get t with q n bar t and q n bar plus for this single group of one i am going to get t bar into q n so this is nothing but t xr with q n xr of t and q n that is current state gives the next state let us write the excitation table for this so the excitation table contains q n q n plus 1 so we need to look for 0 0 where is 0 0 this is my 0 0 at the outputs so what we need to pass we need to pass 0 so let me write 0 here similarly the next values 0 1 okay for 0 1 for this 0 1 what i need to pass from t that is 1 so here is 1 for 1 0 1 0 is here for 1 0 t is t should be 1 so t should be 1 then only i am going to get 0 output when my current state is 1 and for 1 1 here is my 1 1 for this i need to give 0 i need to give 0 so this is the excitation table for t flip flop so now we have seen all the excitation tables of d flip flop t flip flop and the other videos i have explained jk as well as sr flip flop now by using these excitation tables and characteristic tables let us convert from one flip flop to other flip flop let us look into the conversions in the next video thank you